Hi y'all. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video on cut list optimizer. Um, I use this quite a lot for my projects. Um, so just to show you for this is more for beginners and stuff. And it's again, it's the way I do it. It's not the right way. It's not necessarily the wrong way, but it works for me. And um, I feel like I get a good picture in my head when I do it this way. So uh, this is the website cutlistoptimizer.com and um, it's free up to a certain amount to saves a month and but if you do more than that they kind of i think they ask it's more of a donation i think or something uh but it's about 15 euros uh, i think it is uh, a month for the package i have and it's worth it to wait in gold for me because it makes once i get my cut list done it makes it easier for the guys downstairs to not have to think about it they just copy each page is literally an eight before sheet or a jumbo whatever you put into the into the soft into the program so what i have done in the past is i've put in a load of material that i keep in stock most of the time or the most common used boards and uh, i've I take about five mil off everything just to be, I know it has a, you can put in the thickness of the blade, but this just gives you a bit of grace. So I put two, four, three, five uh, for lengths and two, one, five, sorry, one, two, one, five mil, millimeters in um, width. So an average of 10, but if it's more than that, I'm going to be using quite a lot of linen boards on this job. It's the fins are linen, so I'm going to change that to 20. So this is literally, I've just put in all the information here. This is your stock sheets. And by doing this, then I save it and I've called this as a start sheet. So every time I start a new job, I just open up this start sheet and this is all the information is already in it for me. So this is the quantity. This is the name of the board, whatever you want to call it, 22 mil MDF, whatever. And the label is to to label it, I just repeat it over, so everything's the same, just repeat it. Um, if it's a grained board, like wood or that, you have to tell it which way the grain goes. So star means no grain, crossways and vertical. So I put all the boards in vertical, and down here is MDF, so you don't need to worry about the grain. That's just telling it that whichever way, it can cut the board whatever way it wants, but if you tell it it's got a grain, it should automatically know which way to um, put it on the sheet, which saves a lot of thinking. Um, this is just to say it's enabled and to delete it X. So once that's all in, like I said, type that all in and save it. And then that's done for again, you don't have to think about it. Um, so when you go to starting it, I have two screens. Well, I've got a few, I've got this triple. Uh, it's a two screen that attaches to your laptop. It's really good. You know, um, uh, HDMI cable and that, and you can split the screen to three different screens. But I've got this one actually linked to the television so if the guys come in I can uh, pull up the drones and we can sit down and talk about what the issues are whatever on the drone and um, right going back to the SketchUp so this is the the wardrobe I'm doing starting to do the cut list so it's two sides so they're both the exact same width so I go, get my mouse don't use a tape measure or any of that I just go to the top corner and pull it down to the bottom. This is just the board. So that tells me it's two, three, two, eight. So come over here, two, three, two, eight. I have a standard 570 depth, uh, which is just my normal. So then I come back out and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'll put in 12 at that size material. Uh, because it's already creased in it, uh, Len. Oh, sorry. Sometimes it does this. So if it does this, just uh, don't worry about what you've just typed in. Just press the um, refresh button. What happens is it doesn't upload all the the material. But I say now when I go into material, it should be all in here. There. So I'm going to again linen. Uh, there. It's already there. So. Now that I've got linen, I'm going to say it's uh, 
Freezing on me now. <laughs> Typical. Not sure why it's doing that. One second, I'm just refreshing it again. Yeah, so this wasn't, these buttons here weren't on the side at that time. So, but as you've seen, I can refresh it and I don't have to worry about losing what I've typed. So that's good. Uh, label. Ooh, there. Um, I usually do it in capitals, so it's easy to write. Side, and uh, I put in one long edge, so one LE for long edge and one SE for one short edge. Um, that just tells my guys that uh, that's the side that's edge, one long edge. Um, you can do it here with the edge banding, but sometimes I find it, it throws too many extra lines onto the page and it's not as clear sometimes what needs edging. So if you've put it in as one LE or one SE or both one LE and one SE, so if there's two edges or I just put in all, if it's all four edges. Um, so that's telling them it's the side and it's telling them one long edge. So they'll write that information onto the side of the board. So when it goes to the edge bander, they know it's got one long side to be edged. So then we move along to the, sorry, move along to the tops and bottoms, which should all be the same width. So we got 999. I'm just going to ch double check that. Yeah, it might be a mill difference in the middle or sometimes. No, exactly. So uh we're gonna go nine 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 also five seven zero zero now so i do my fixed shelves at the top the same as my top and bottom so i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine eighteen so eighteen just double checking uh linen L, there we go, and I put in tops slash bottoms slash fix shelves, and then also it's one long edge. So you just carry on. I'll do my div dividers, I'll do my drawers, everything like you would handwrite it out. And um, so I'm going to carry on. And I'm going to come back uh, to once I've typed that all out and show you what the next stage is once you've typed it all in. Okay, thanks. Okay, let me see. That was 25 minutes to type that bit in, taking it from SketchUp. So if you've watched my previous uh, YouTube video on SketchUp tutorial thing, which I keep basic, is... You draw your door you draw your doors in one picture and then copy and paste it and then do your internals um i don't bother going too mad pulling out the the frame 25 mil to match what it looks like when it's built because i find is if you leave it flat draw everything flat it's easier what am I trying to, it's easier to pinpoint on the corners without having a two three dimensional on the front so done that Pulled all my, uh, pull this back. so done all my measurements, typed them all in, how quantity and stuff, top, bottoms, fixed shelves. I kind of shorten all the words like you probably do yourselves, DIV divider. Uh, so this is one thing I do a lot of. And this is where people say, well, you know, you can draw it the proper way on SketchUp and then import it into it and that. But if you notice a lot of my bookcases and stuff, I do a lot of um, doubled up. Uh, material and stuff like this and um, so what I do is I make them all five mil oversized to be glued and that's why I have in here TBG and uh, drawer packer TBG and uh, so they'll be glued and then they'll get cut to the final measurement before edge banding and um, it's better than cutting them to the exact size first time because I might have bond my boards together and um, so you get one go and one go and like we're pretty good but you can be a half a mil out sometimes so it just gives you a bit of grace so it's just a routine we've got into and um, i didn't tell you at the very start i did grain direction so i put all the arrows pointing up but then when i got down to the doors the mdf the 12s the nines i was able to turn off all the grain that's why you see the star 
So now this this is pretty much it. Now that you've done your cut list, you got your drawing done, client scene, they've agreed, you took your measurements from the drawing, and now you've imported them into the um, uh, into cut list optimizer. Just before I go any further, the doors again, the way I do mine is I don't do again, don't do the detail of two, three mil gaps all around the doors. So when I take my measurements of these doors, I know they're already like not allowing the the gap. So I know when I make them, they'll be oversized to be trimmed. So I always square my doors up on my saw. So this is really helpful to take your measurements uh, from point to point. And if you want to add an extra mill, if you're if you're worried that you might cut too much off, but it works pretty well because by the time I take my bit off each side, it works out fine. Um, that's it. So literally as simple as this um hopefully it works fast so you just press calculate in the top corner so this should be downloading now yeah it's going up now 55 percent so this should be it Pull the, yep, you see it over here. So I'm going to pull the boards over so you can see it better. So you can see how it's laid it all out. All I need to do is go through, just glance over it, make sure I'm happy with the grain, which way the boards are going. Sometimes like drawer bases catch you out and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there's all your boards. It tells you in the top corner. Um, let me show you. In the top corner there we got linen uh, it does mix them up a bit so when I print them off I just divide them up and staple them together as 12 mil uh, linen again linen. and then over in this corner tells you now I need to make sure my stock I've got five sheets of 12 three sheets of nine 24 sheets of linen and um, that's just a cover board I just put that one in around so I don't hate that one um, but that's it that's how that's ready now press print gather it all up print off the drone for the guys and then um ready to start that job so hopefully that's helpful and you uh start to use it in that because i find it very helpful um okay cool thanks for watching bye now